Hello dear friends, today we have an interesting topic, well, let's begin. Matthew Perry's ex-girlfriend Katie Edwards has claimed the Friends star may have suffered a relapse before his death. The 54-year-old Friends actor sadly died earlier this month as he was found unresponsive in the hot tub of his Los Angeles home. Just 24 hours before his death, Matthew had been pictured enjoying a date with 25-year-old model Athena Crosby. The pair seemed very happy as they spent time at the Hotel Bel Air in Los Angeles, California. Athena spoke out about their time together and revealed Matthew refused to touch the drink menu as he worked hard to stay sober. She said the Hollywood star had been very proud of how far he had come and was committed to his sobriety and didn't have any desire to get back into drugs and alcohol. At the time, it was reported that no drugs were discovered at the scene and there was no indication of foul play. Law enforcement said they found antidepressants, anti-anxiety drugs, and a COPD drug in the house. And it was later revealed that initial toxicology tests did not show any fentanyl or meth in Matthew's system at the time of death, with his cause of death still unknown. Now Katie, who dated Matthew back in 2006 and worked as his assistant in 2011, has claimed that Matthew allegedly left clues that hinted at a relapse. She said, I don't like a lot of things. I don't believe that he just drowned in his jacuzzi. It doesn't seem true. I know Matthew and I know that he wouldn't have just drowned. I think he might have taken pills in the week leading up to this, she added. They said there were no prescription painkillers at the scene, which doesn't surprise me because he didn't leave drugs lying around. He was paranoid and would take them all so there wasn't any evidence and then go out for more when he was ready to, Kati explained before sharing more about his cryptic Matman posts. That Matman thing was not something he did when he was sober. Matman would come out when he was not sober and he felt kind of invincible. I was around when he was getting high, although I was not getting high with him, and when I would say maybe he should cool it a little bit with the drugs, he would say, no, I'm Matman. Katie claimed the Chandler Bing star had an obsession with water when he was high. One time, his neighbor in Hollywood Hills found Matthew naked and high in his swimming pool. I had to go over there and get him out of his neighbor's pool. He had a thing with water when he was doing drugs, she continued. He always wanted to be in the pool or the jacuzzi. That's all dear friends, leave your thoughts in the comments, bye everybody.